Hello everyone, my name is Peter Wright and I am the second trumpet in the London Mozart Players. The second trumpet is also known as sub-principal trumpet and I like that better. Welcome to LMP at Home. Today I'm going to tell you a little about playing the trumpet in a chamber orchestra and also challenge you to a competition. When I'm in the orchestra and you're in the audience, you normally enjoy beautiful tunes being played by the strings and the woodwind. You may come out at the end of the concert not even realising uh, that there are any trumpets playing at all. The competition today is where I'm going to play you just the trumpet parts and you have to guess what the music is. Some will be easier than others, but I assure you, if you're a classical music lover, you will have heard all these pieces many times. Don't worry if you don't get all the answers, because perhaps no one will get all of the answers, but you may get more than anyone else. In any case, it's a bit of fun. Please remember this is not an audition. I'm using an iPhone. If it sounds rubbish, I will not be happy if this results in me being dismissed from my position. Please share the link with friends. During this period, uh, with all concert halls closed, all LMP players have little or no income until this awful situation is over. If you do feel able to make a donation to help, please do. Money or toilet rolls are all fine. Here we go with piece number one. This is something that is regularly played in the London Mozart players. <laughs> Okay, this next piece is something that Mozart players don't play very often, and in fact there's only one trumpet part anyway, so I'm going to be playing the first trumpet part. And this is the only little section that the trumpet plays in, in the whole piece, which is about 15 minutes long. Okay, the next one is a piece which actually the London Mozart players rarely play and it's a first trumpet excerpt, but see if you recognise it. It is from a very, very famous piece of music and this is literally, I'm only going to play four notes. Here we go. How are you doing? Now, we're going to have a little interlude, and I want you to tell me what this is. I'm just going to tap the rhythm of a very, very famous piece of music. Okay, it's a Mars bar. It's from Mars and the Planets. It's a 5-4 bar. So, and at the moment, the only part of that that I can play you is this. Because as we all know, there's a maximum of three Mars bars in any one shop. Okay, on with the competition. Now, this next piece is one of 
it's known as one of the more, most difficult second trumpet uh, things to play in music. To you it'll sound incredibly simple, um, but what's hard on a trumpet is playing very quiet and very low. And this piece of music is very, very well known, and it is low, and it's very quiet, and it gets slower and slower and quieter and quieter. And many second trumpet players really, really hate to have to play this piece, and if they see this is in the program, they often take the concert off. Okay, now this uh, next one is again a second trumpet part and the London Mozart players actually performed this quite recently. It was actually one of the last concerts that we did before everything closed down. Okay, this next piece has a bit of a story to it. Many years ago, well about 15 years ago, um, Sir James Galway was conducting the London Mozart Players at the Barbican Centre. And after the rehearsal we went off for supper and we were absolutely sure that the concert started at 8 o'clock. We looked on the schedule, but in actual fact the schedule we looked at was for a repeat concert the next day. And in fact the concert started at 7.30. Consequently, the trumpets and drums weren't there at the start of the concert. But the worst thing was that nobody noticed. So Galway went onto the stage, and this next piece, it actually st starts just with strings. This is a bit of a clue, doing pizzicato. Then again, bom, bom, like that. And there's seven bars, and then the trumpets and drums come in. So Galway's over here conducting the strings, bom, bom, this and when it gets to the seventh bar he turned to bring us in and we weren't there he was very very cross but uh, I apologized and in fact he accepted the, the apology um, and uh, I found out that his favorite drink is actually not Irish whiskey but Scotch whiskey and I got him a large bottle the next day but I'm gonna play a section of this piece uh, a little bit later um, in the piece of music because the, the, the beginning bit is so boring you really don't want to hear it. So here's a second trumpet bit uh, from later on. In fact I'll play the very ending of this and see if you can guess what it is. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the competition and do tune in and uh, to the next one I think in probably in a week's time. Do share this with your friends, uh, we need all the support we can get during this time. I'm just going to finish off 
showing how evocative the trumpet is um, because just by playing one note then I think if it's played in the right way with the right sound then you might guess the piece of music or the theme literally just from one note. Here we go.